Now let's take a look at setting up the top menu block. The top menu block, as you can see here, contains two module positions. On the left is the user 3, which contains the main top menu navigation, and on the right is the user 4, which by default, if you use sample content, is the search. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at adding the button to the search module, as well as adding drop-downs to your menu items, setting the superfish menu, the super drop, as well as the subtext on your menu items. So to get started, let's uh, head over to the administration and uh, let's bring up the search module. And to add the button, all you need to do is just activate this parameter and just type in the search text string that you want. And refresh and you have the search button on the right like that. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, you could set this to the top position, which is the one right above it, uh, which is next to the logo. And you can see it'll be styled for there as well. And it fits nicely. You can also move it up one more position into the toolbar block if you prefer. Now let's take a look at setting up the menus. The first thing we need to do is if you open up the top menu and uh, we need to create some child items so that when we hover over a parent item uh, one of the child items drops down so that we can see how the menus work. So I'm going to quickly just highlight all of those and uh, just copy them and then I'm going to go into these quickly and I'm going to just set them as child items of the features item like that and we just need one more which would be a sub item let's just make that a sub of news and once we're done there we can go back to the module manager and uh, let's do a search for top menu there we go you can see that set to the user 3 position. And the first thing we need to do is set it to a list, like that. And then uh, we need to make sure that this is set because then when the user hovers over the parent item, the child items will slide down. We don't need the dash nav if we're not using any child items. And uh, to order, in order to set up the superfish menu, all you need to do is add a suffix of topfish. And that will essentially enable everything that's needed for the Superfish menu to work. So you can click Apply, and then uh, let's load on the front end. And our features should be a drop down with our sub menu items that you see there. Now you'll notice that the background is actually faded out when I'm on the child items. This is an experimental feature that we, we're working on, uh, where it allows if you have. Uh, different contrasting colors, maybe a header background or something. Uh, it makes it easier for the user to see the sub-items. So now let's say you wanted to change the menu to something different. Now the top drop class or suffix adds the super drop menu like that. So now you see the third level actually drops down like the superfish, but the second level, or the first drop down, is actually in a bar along the bottom of the first or the top navigation bar. Now what we can do with either of these menus is if we add to the suffix uh, the text subtext like that, and uh, actually let's just save that because what we need to do now is uh, head over back to the top menu and uh, we need to add a line of subtext to each of our menu items so if I open this one up we just go here and it's just hash and your line of text just put a space, a hash, a space and your line of text like that and uh, let's just quickly add that to each of the menu items like that and now when we refresh the page we have subtext along with our super drop menu system like that 
Now, if you prefer the Superfish, you can always go back to the Module Manager, to the top menu, and uh, just change this to Top Fish again. And now you'll see you still have the subtext, but it drops down again like that. So the last thing I want to show you before I finish off is uh, just the settings within Configurator. And the first thing you'll see here is uh, if you go to Building Blocks, first thing to notice is uh, going to Top Menu here, and you'll see that with Ultra Candy this is uh, set to Above Top Shelf which is the position. You can move the menu to a different position on the page if you like. Uh, we can, we can, um, we can try and move that up above one position to show you how that will look. And make sure that the, both the block wrap and block inner are set to none. And also the chrome is set to none. If you want to configure the actual options for the menu, this is done using the configure menu buttons. You can get there also by clicking the customize tab and then to menu settings. Now over here you can set uh, a number of items for your menu, the drop down speed, the width of your sub items. This is all for the Superfish menu, um, most of this is for the Superfish menu. Um, options for the, the Super Drop menu will be coming. So uh, over here the one thing I want to show you is uh, call to action link. You set that to yes and uh, what that actually does is it sets your last menu item, in this case the community, and it uh, pushes it to the end of your menu bar and uh, it gives it a class so that you can style it with CSS. So if you wanted to highlight a, uh, a new product or something similar, you could do that. So now we've moved the menu up, you can see, to the position above and uh, the call to action button on the right has been set. And that's it. Thanks for joining me.